<laughs> so all this effort here was for nothing, uh, right? Because, well, it was good practice. But I'm going to have to redo this because I just, you know, looking at this right now, I was too focused on trying to get this axle underneath here. I didn't realize I actually put this on upside down. I had gone ahead and removed the brakes from this axle, if you look in here, because I thought it would come just as an axle like that. I didn't know it was going to be a complete axle set up with the brakes as well. So that's, uh, I'm not going to need that. So over here, you can see that this happened in shipping, of course, but it's just the cap. So we'll remove this cap and we'll actually just put one of the factory one of the caps that came on the original axle. So that's not a big deal. And this is the brake wires right here. So we'll just wire that back up as well. And that's about it. So let's get it under the vehicle here and see what happens. So I'm gonna try to use that jack once again to sit it up on and then slide it inside or slide it under the vehicle. So let's see how I can do that. Try to set you guys up here for success. All right. All right, so the labels goes, the label goes to the back and these arms here uh, go towards the back as well. So this is the orientation and <clears throat> I'm going to move it to the inside here so it can be centered. Pivot it onto the jack here. All right. All right. Kind of spinning around here, so. So you need it to spun the other way around. Like so. But it won't stay like that, so we'll just have to keep it like this and uh, jack it up a little bit more so it's off the ground and then slide it in there. And then at that point, we'll just have to try to uh, set it back down on the ground again and then uh, spin it to the right orientation. So let's see here. point here guys it really helps to have two people when you're doing this but this will be the the worst case scenario is you trying to do it you trying to do it by yourself so you're gonna keep going like this all right move the camera for you guys 
and it doesn't help that I'm trying to shoot this at the same time, so. All right, so we're almost clear on the other end. All right, so I put a slide on that side, but because it's so high, it's impossible to kind of uh, uh, attach it to that slider. So I need to keep going the way it's set up right now. So, uh, and this has already kind of turned a few turns, so it's not oriented correctly at all. So I will need to spin it around somehow. So at this point, I think I'm gonna put it on the ground or lower the jack and then uh, see what I can do after that. So, lowering, okay. So it's off the jack now. I just need to move the jack out of the way and then try to position this on the ground and then slide it in a little bit more um, so I can get it on. All right, so I'm going to go back to the other side, try to lift it up now and put it on that slider so I can slide it that way. Alright, so that worked really well. Move you guys in a little bit. Okay, so that's almost set up right where it needs to go. Move it a little bit more. And then just need to slide it forward a little bit. Same on that side. Go ahead and slide it backwards. That is the positioning right here. We are almost ready to jack it up again. So the catch here is to try to stop it from spinning, which it wants to do when you're jacking it up. Okay. Move this over here. Hopefully you guys can still see what's going on here. What? I think I need some jack stands. That'll help a little bit.
So I'm gonna use these little two and a half pound, uh, two and a half ton jack stands. Uh, the problem is that I can't raise it on this side because that side is too low. So I either need to jack one side up and then raise it on the other. Maybe I'll try that first. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna jack up this side and then uh, maybe put the jack stand underneath so it doesn't spin around. And then at that point, I'll go and do the, uh, the opposite side first. So. Jack's not working too well because it just attempts to spin it every single time I try to jack it up. So I'm gonna try to just put the jack stand under underneath it. See what that does for us. Uh, maybe lower it a little bit like that. something like that. Alright, that looks like it's... Uh, it's actually trying to tilt forward again, uh, so I need to try to figure out if I had something to place right here that would stop it from attempting to move forward while I'm running to the other side. But let's give that a whirl. All right, over on this side now, I'm gonna prepare a bolt and see if I can't try to put this on without it trying to spin on me because that's the biggest problem right now is it is constantly trying to rotate. set it down. I need to move that end with the jack stand back in a little bit so that it's closer to this end. So. All right, so I think I got a better idea because this axle keeps trying to spin 
and it's kind of hard to hold it on both sides with just one person, I'm gonna use zip ties. So what I'm gonna do with these is that I'm gonna feed them through this so it kind of holds it in place. These are a pretty heavy duty, so they should be able to do that. So fasten one here and fasten one over there, and that should keep it in place while I work on the other side. So let's do that. All right, so I've put this in through the loop like so, and then cinch it down. I can do this. This other, I can do this other side as well. Let's see here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm just looping through this like so. Actually, I'll do this the opposite way so I can cinch it down a little easier. Click through that. So that should be able to hold it on this side at least, just like that. And then I can go work on the other side and uh, maybe get a bolt or two in on that side. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so now I should be able to uh, uh, position this a little bit better and remove one zip tie and then put a bolt in place of that. So let's, I got my bolt prepared and remove the zip tie. So the, act, the other zip tie is actually in the way, so I'm going to have to remove that one as well. Make sure my jack stand is still supporting this, so that's good. Cut the other zip tie. Like that. this put the nut or the bolt in through there washer nut all right do the other side Washer, nut. All right, so 
this is good. This is basically almost mounted. So what I'll do now is work on tightening them. So we'll go back to the other side and check on that and start tightening it up from that side. this effort here was for nothing uh right because well it was good practice but i'm gonna have to redo this because i just you know looking at this right now i was too focused on trying to get this axle underneath here i didn't realize i actually put this on upside down so now i have to uh, let me see if i can get a better angle here so now i have to flip this around <laughs> so that this axle here is this flat piece right here is resting is resting up here instead so I got to flip this all the way around. Well, it's funny how doing something once makes you a professional, but um, <laughs> uh, of course, just kidding. But uh, um, I've got this set up now and I just put it on time lapse just as I spun this axle around. So I had to spin it around. Now you can see that it's oriented correctly. Um, the flat part here is at the top. And so I'm going to go ahead. I've put the bolts in on this side already and I already put the bolts on the other side. Not that not that it's actually oriented correctly i didn't need the zip ties or maybe i'm just so good now that i was able to do it without zip ties but basically i just put my knees underneath and lifted it up and then um i was able to put the bolts in place so i'm going to go ahead and start tightening these and uh let's see and get this set up and then i'll do the wiring after that so we are moving right along now and I believe this was positioned all the way to the top. So I'm going to just position it exactly in that same manner as well. So um, what I'll actually do is that I'll jack it up so the jack holds it all the way back up and then uh, start fastening this down. All right, so now what I'm doing is I've repositioned the jack to either end. I've already done that end over there, but now I'm doing this end. So I'm jacking this plate up over here so that I know that it's completely um, flush up here so that this is completely sitting on that. So I left the bolts a little loose and then I uh, uh, positioned the jack underneath, jacked it up, and now I know it's flat there, so I'm gonna tighten both bolts and this axle will be in place. All right. All right, so, okay, so now's a good time to remove this cap, this uh, grease cap right here and replace it since the bolts are all tightened and we're ready to go there. So I'm gonna remove this one and uh, put in, and it's amazing how often these get damaged in, uh, in freight, but uh, we'll just take that out. So I don't have a mallet once again, so I'm gonna use this little contraption. I should grab some cardboard. 
so that this doesn't fall onto the floor again. All right. That's off and we can see this has already been greased so no need to re-grease it uh, so that's all set up and ready to go that's good and then this will be our new cap right here Let's put that on there and then Make sure it's on tight and it is so that's about it here so you can already see this axle here actually the angle sits a little bit more extreme or a little bit more downward than the last one so I actually don't think with how much I raised it I'm gonna be able to put the tire on with it raised with it this low so I'm actually gonna to have to raise it up higher in order to be able to put the tire on here but we're not even really there right now. So right now we got to cut these off and work on the brakes and attach those and we'll be good to go. So that's the next step. All right, so I just got it uh, plugged in here to my tow vehicle just so I've got 12 volt power. All right, so we've got the wiring done here for the brakes and I've got the remote here that comes with this. Uh, it's the auto tow remote. So I'm going to spin this around. See, it just kind of spins around a little bit. You can hear it catching in there and they're supposed to rub. That's the uh, pads that you hear rubbing on the drum and they're supposed to touch just ever so slightly. So now we're going to engage the brake. So I'll do that. Stop. All right. Spin it again. Stop. I'm trying to do this on camera here. I'm trying to do this with one hand, spin, stop. So you can hear it engaging as well. And then when it's engaged, let's try. So I'm holding on to the brake right now. I'm trying to spin it, and it doesn't spin. All right, so that's set up. All right, so this is how much here. This has gone up, like I can't even put this wheel back on here. I can't even put this wheel back on here without uh, jacking it up a little bit more. I'm trying to see there if there's a good angle to show you. Well, there's one of the studs right there. So I have to jack this up way more just to get this on there. So uh, definitely gonna get the clearance that uh, should have been there from factory. All right, got the tire mounted. Gonna do the brake test again. So I got my remote in my hand here. So, uh, here. So we'll spin this and stop. Spin, stop. Spin, stop. So, and you can hear it engaging. Spin, stop. All right. Okay, so this is on the opposite side. We're gonna do the same test here. Make sure it's wired properly on both sides. Spin, stop. Spin, stop. All right, so that's on the passenger side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. So definitely way more clearance here than I've ever had. Uh, if you watch some of my earlier videos, I mean, you couldn't even see underneath here. Now I can put my whole hand underneath. So this is a way better axle here for this. So super excited about how this turned out. And uh, just got to clean up the rest of my garage here to get everything sorted back out again. It always turns into a mess when I'm trying to do these projects. So I'm going to clean up and uh, call it good here. But uh, super happy about, uh, but I'm super happy about how it turned out. So um Hopefully this helps somebody if you're out there trying to get an axle done or even change the brakes or something like that because a lot of these processes are kind of like that. Some takeaways from this whole thing is that they actually came 
this axle came with brakes. So that was super cool. I didn't have to bother with that at all. It's just unbolt. It's two bolts, technically, on each side. So four bolts, take those down, uh, undo the brakes, axle folds down, pull that out, put the other one in, four bolts, and then you're back up with, uh, and running again. So uh, pretty easy job, I think. But uh, it's all done now, and until then, peace.